David Kripe collapsed in his high school classroom last month. Now, the coroner said he died of a cardiac event, arrhythmia, caused by drinking several caffeinated drinks in quick succession. Witnesses say Davis Kripe downed a McDonald's latte, a large Mountain Dew, and a 16-ounce energy drink, chugged it, all of that in under two hours. The autopsy revealed no pre-existing heart condition. Dr. Peter Lin is our medical contributor, and he's in because, as I said, this caught our eye. The coroner who did the autopsy mm -hmm. acknowledged, Dr. Lin, that his findings would be both controversial and troubling, and they are. As I sit here with one of the many coffees I consume over the course of the day, many people drink a lot of caffeine. You know, is this going to kill me? Yeah, and that's a big question that we have. I mean, our condolences to the family, but For then sure. we start turning to ourselves and how much caffeine we're taking in. Now, we do know that caffeine will make your heart beat faster. It makes your blood pressure go up. But what happens is the amount of caffeine that you take in. So I looked it up. You know, people say 400 milligrams a day is safe. Uh, 5,000 milligrams is when it's toxic, for example. And so he was nowhere near any of those numbers. So let's say in your coffee right now, there might be 150 milligrams okay. of caffeine. So when you say the safe level is about four or five four or 500, cups of coffee. It's very okay. safe. It's the 5,000 levels that we're having. So he was nowhere near right. any of that. So that's when people started to say, maybe it's not the amount, but how fast we drank it. Okay. In other words, if we take that over a day, no big deal. It's like when you report weather, you know, rain over a day, 30 millimeters, no problem. Mm -hmm. But in 20 minutes, that would be a big problem with flooding. That's the same thing that might happen in the heart. If I give you a lot of caffeine all at the same time, could I cause that rhythm? And the rhythm that we're afraid of is where the heart no longer squeezes and beats properly. So normally the electrical system kicks down, your heart beats, the blood goes out. Mm -hmm. But what happens if the heart starts to shake, fibrillation, in which case there's no blood going out, nothing goes to the head, they pass out, and that's when you have that sudden death happening. Okay, so that was that, as you said, they slammed essentially all of that caffeine mm -hmm. in a two-hour span. No existing precondition as far as his heart was concerned, but are there any other risk factors that people should be aware of? I mean, different amounts of caffeine affect different people differently. Right, and then there are some families that have the electrical system doesn't work very well. So we have these families where uh, even a small amount of caffeine may trigger that heart to go faster and so on and so forth. And so that's why we ask in the, in the heart world, we mm -hmm. say, did anybody suddenly die within your family? Or was there any unexplained deaths? Because those give us a tip off that maybe the electrical system is not working well. When they checked his heart, they were checking for structural things. Was the valve problem? Was the muscle damaged or anything like that? But it's very hard to check the electrical system because it's no longer working right so when he was alive and they did an ECG maybe they could have seen it but perhaps now they will never know whether that's happening along the way so there might be some families out there uh, very rare but if they have somebody that passed away suddenly or unexplained those are the people where we want to check their electrical system and they be more sensitive to the caffeine than let's say you or I okay so family history think about that I mean the findings are non-conclusive in terms of just how much caffeine is safe and it varies doesn't it? Children know, yes. pregnant women know, all of those little caveats. But give us some overall advice so that we can be reassured. <laughs> yes. What is considered sort of safe, reasonable caffeine consumption? Yeah, so if you look around, they're saying 400, 500 milligrams per day over the whole day. So I think the first thing to do is know that, you know, how, how much is in your drink. So in his case, he was drinking Mountain Dew and all these other things. So in other words, know how many milligrams there are and then space it out. In other words, okay. don't guzzle it. Now, hot coffee, it's very hard for us to guzzle all the way down. Good point. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, when it gets cold, I've seen people, oh, I don't want to waste it, so they just swallow the whole thing. So maybe let's not swallow the whole thing, slow it down, space it out over a day, as opposed to compressing everything, and that way we'll be safe. So you can still enjoy your coffee without worrying that this is going to cause a problem. If ever when you drink coffee you feel your heart beating fast, mm -hmm. that's a sign that it is affecting your heart, so slow it down, space it out again. Okay, perfect. And yeah, that's good. Uh, Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. And watch. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate your coming in. Dr. Thanks, Peter Lynn with us this morning.